Hey everybody, Boss here. So I wanted to do a quick video, uh, just like about my last video, was real quick, where I was showing you I'm putting together my, my music room. But I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here in case you had the same problems I had. So the problem I was having was, is that we had some records like these, they'd be these holes, okay? And what happened is they'd push out the back, okay? And it was causing a lot of problems, especially when you had this whole thing full of records and you put another record in and then push the other record in the back and it basically gets lost. And it's really a pain in the butt. And I know a lot of people have the same problem with these, with these um, this is actually a Calyx, but it's, it's Calyx, whatever, it has the same problem. Uh, for a while, I used some, um, some pool noodles. I cut up some pool noodles, put them in the back. One noodle wasn't enough, it's pushing those out, so I stacked them up three or four pool noodles <laughs> over time, and it was still pushing them out the back. So, but now what I was doing, those pool noodles were, a couple of them were in there, but, and, and it wasn't too bad, but they were still being pushed out the back. So uh, uh, I was thinking about what else I could do to keep these records from being pushed out the back. So I got an idea about using some weather stripping. So, what, so I went to Amazon and I picked up this weather stripping and I'll put a link down below so you know what I got. Uh, that was a kind of surprise because I didn't really pay attention to the dimensions. I was looking at the picture. I thought it might have been a little bit bigger than this. I was thinking it'd be about twice as wide as what it was. But this, I still think this is going to work. And so if you look up in here, what I'm doing is, uh, and of course for your, for yours, it may be a little different, but I figured out where I want the records to sit. Uh, so I want the records to sit basically here, almost flush with this front. So, so almost flush with the front here. Okay, so I measured out what that would be. I figured it would be about two inches in the back. So what I've been doing is I've been taking my ruler and I've been measuring two inches in the back. This is the first one I did, it wasn't very straight. If you go over here, you can see it's a lot straighter. But um, measuring two inches in the back and drawing a line and then cutting these. So I'm putting this up here and measuring this out here. Put it here, oh, well yeah, right. Put it up here, measure this out, cut it about there with a pair of scissors. So let me do that. This over here. Okay, so cut this out here like that. Okay, so now I have this piece here. Okay, and so, and then take off the backing. You know, I probably don't need to show you all this. I'm sure you all know how to put weather stripping up, but what the heck, I'll just do it anyways. So take, take, take that off and I'll start over here, put it down. Try not to lift it very much off the line because every time that you pick it up off the off the off the um, off the cabinet, it's going to lose a little bit of stickiness, which is going to shorten its life a little bit. I try to be as precise as possible with this, so eh, it's good. So not perfect, but it's pretty close, and that's it. So what I've been doing is I've been going down every single one of these and putting these um, putting these in the back, as you can see here, and all these, and I'm finished this. And when I'm done, hopefully, you know, you, you put it in, and it's pretty much, you know, about flush with the front. And hopefully, I mean, it feels like it's gonna be pretty good. I mean, you can put a lot of force on it, and it probably still could pop over it, but, but anyways, I'm hoping uh, a year from now, these are still going to be uh, uh, on there pretty good and uh, it's still going to be working. So I'll probably update you all in about a year on this and, uh, and let you know how this is coming. But if you have the same problem I do with pushing the records out the back, this is something you might want to try. If you try this, uh, put, put a comment down at the bottom and let me know how it worked out for you. You may want to use a little bit wider um, weather stripping than I did. Maybe that'll give you a little bit more, um, you know, a, a stronger, you know, back. But um, I, I decided to go use this. I didn't. I, I didn't return it. And this came with a. This came with three rolls of this, so it was a total of fifty feet. So it's going to do a lot. And it was cost me. I think this. I think this is like twelve dollars. But again, I'll put a link down in the description 
of, of uh, what is that play about. So that's it. It's a real quick video. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Be sure, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all next time.